my heart just <sighs> breaks for the Alexander family. I wish, as I'm sure millions of Americans do, and people around the world, that we could take some of that pain off of their shoulders right now. And, you know, like I said before, Jody didn't escape death. She simply prolonged it. Eventually, it will happen for her. And in the meantime, the Alexander family, today's very painful. It will be painful for a while. But they will eventually get back to living a normal life, spending time with their family, enjoying holidays, enjoying births of new grandchildren and children and graduations and, you know, celebrating life and celebrating Travis's life. And in the meantime, Jody will spend the rest of her life incarcerated and then eventually finally meeting a judge that knows how to run a real trial. You know, Dave Hall, uh, nobody is bloodthirsty. Nobody wants a death penalty to happen to anyone. But what I do want is justice in this case. And it, it just is beyond me how this jury could not reach a decision and put Travis's family out of their suffering, be it life or death. I, I don't understand to, to let them go on, to set them free from the pain they've been in since 2008 when his body was found mutilated by Jody Arias. Exactly. I mean, I don't know too many cases out there where the evidence was more compelling than the case that we have before us. I mean, it's not like we're still wondering who did it or what happened here. Everything was laid out, a perfect timeline, a motive, photos, and then her story changes numerous times on she wasn't there, then the ninjas did it, okay, now I was being, you know, abused. I mean, the, the lady's a pathological liar, so how could the jury seeing all the lies in her history, how could they take anything that was submitted by her team into the conclusion and paying this jury? 